welcome students so in the previous session we have studied about the autotrophic nutrition now we will study about heterotrophic mode of nutrition hetero means different different type of nutrition in which one living organism depend on other living organism to obtain the food energy and these living organisms are not capable of producing their own food by themselves this is known as heterotrophic nutrition we divide heterotrophic nutrition into three categories saprophytic heterotrophic nutrition parasitic heterotrophic nutrition and holozoic nutrition now the first one saprophytic nutrition Saprophytes are the living organisms which depend on organic decaying matter for their food purpose. This organic matter is actually in complex form and these living organisms which are actually bacteria and fungi. What are saprophytes? They are bacteria and fungi. Wherever they grow, they release enzymes from their body and these enzymes convert this organic complex material into the simpler organic material and then they absorb it they utilize this simple organic material food material for their life processes these are known as saprophytes and the mode of nutrition is known as saprophytic nutrition now the next one this is parasitic nutrition what are parasites parasites are the living organisms which live on the body or inside the body of other living organisms to have obtain ready made food this food is mostly this in the form of cells or for blood which is already digested food so they obtain the ready made food from the other living organisms they grow over the other living organisms some of them live inside the body of other living organisms some of them live on the body if they live on the body then they are known as exoparasites if they live inside the body of other living organism they are known as endoparasites and these parasites may be plants and animals both the example of plant parasite is cascoda amarbe and the example of animal parasites are many there may be ticks they may be lice even mosquitoes are also parasites there may be ascaris which live inside the stomach of a human being so this is known as parasitic mode of nutrition then the third one third one is holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition means it's a kind of nutrition in which one living organism take a part or the whole body of the other living organism as a food and it includes these different steps the first one is ingestion second is digestion third is absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth is addition ye jo holozoic nutrition hai ye unicellular organism like amoeba yahan se lekar human being tak mostly all have holozoic mode of heterotrophic nutrition the first heading of uh, holozoic nutrition is ingestion ingestion means the engulfing or the taking of the food inside the mouth then the second one is digestion in digestion what happens that that uh, food material is converted into the simpler and diffusible form by the help of enzymes by the help of chemicals which are present in our stomach or in the body of the other living organism then the third one is absorption absorption ka matlab hai ki jo yahan par digest hua hai food jo food simple form mein change hua hai wo body mein jagah jagah ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है इन आर बॉडी इट अकर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ ब्लड दैन इन द केस ऑफ यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे इज नो नीड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ द एडजस्टेड फूड दे जस्ट यूज दैट दे जस्ट डिफ्यूज इट इन टू द सेल्स एप दैन एसिमिलेशन एसिमिलेशन मीन्स द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ दिस एब्जॉर्ब डिफ्यूजेबल फूड फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोटोप्लाज्म 
प्रोटोप्लाज्म जो हमारा लिविंग मैटर है सेल का वो कहा से बनता है दैट इज फॉर्म थ्रू द हेल्प ऑफ द एब्सॉर्ब डाइजेस्टेड फूड सो दिस इज नोन एज एसिमिलेशन नाउ ऑल द पार्ट द होल फूड व्हिच वी हैव टेकन इट इज नॉट कन्वर्टेड इनटू डिफ्यूजिबल फॉर्म और इट इज नॉट डिफ्यूज्ड इन द बॉडी सम पार्ट ऑफ इट इज लेफ्ट दिस लेफ्ट ओवर पार्ट इज थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड दिस स्टेज और दिस स्टेप इज नोन एज एजेशन so this these are the five different steps now we will discuss holozoic nutrition in detail in two organisms one is amoeba that is unicellular organism and the other one is human being in our next session thank you